Figure 1. Suleiman Suleiman. Figure 2. Chair, desk, pen, writing paper, voice recorder, reading lamp, books on Egon Schiele. Figure 3. Mirror, vase of oriental lilies, kimono stand, a silk brocade kimono, Japanese prints. Figure 4. English Springer Spaniel, Marx, lying fast asleep. Figure 1 clears his throat, <clears throat> breathes in deeply. then turns on his voice recorder. Dear Aegon, today is the 19th of June, 2023, and my 149th day on the Hanamichi, or flower path in Japanese. Since Chinese New Year, on the 22nd of January, I've been making daily videos exploring kabuki theatre, Japanese art, music, ballet, opera, gardens, costume, and my heroes like you. I've made more videos about your life and art than any of my other role models, even David Bowie. I first came across you on the front cover of an independent art magazine called The Romantic View. There you were, in the guise of a semi-naked woman, wearing a green headscarf, sitting in a strange contorted posture, with leather buttoned boots. There was something about the direct, penetrating gaze of your sitter that caught my eye. You painted this picture in 1914 when you were 24, just months before the outbreak of the First World War. I have never forgotten the moment I saw this image, printed on finely textured Japanese paper, the figure's aura, her draped green headscarf, and the way she sat suspended in some liminal, empty space was a new and mysterious flavour to me. Like a moth to the flame, I was attracted then captured by the aesthetic beauty of your art, and as time went on, I became increasingly curious to learn more about you and the world in which you lived. As time passed, I saw you again and again in various places. I saw you at the Wiener Reuter and Kohlbacher booth at Fries Masters, at the Royal Academy alongside drawings of Gustav Klimt, in Vienna at the Albertina, the Belvedere and the Leopold Museum. I even saw you on screen in Salzburg when I went to the cinema to see the film Todd and das Mädchen, Death and the Maiden. The more times I encountered you, the more clearly I saw my own reflection, a young man besotted with art, nature and beauty, an artist full of love and curiosity for the world, a poet thirsty to experience, to express, to absorb from the great masters, to learn, to practice, to evolve as a human being. I quoted you in my Goldsmith's dissertation. I dress like you, wear my hair like you. I imitate your stylized hand gestures. I read about you, make videos about you, dance thinking of you, create music playlists inspired by you. And right now, I'm writing a kabuki-inspired play about you. My play is called Searching for Sheila. I'm writing this letter to ask for your help. I cannot make this play alone. I need your friendship, your support and your guidance. I believe wholeheartedly that you are a man of rare depth and I want to share what I know and love about you and your art with my peers. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours faithfully, love, Sully.